So instead of a P51 Mustang cockpit video of the new Edward Royal Class 172 scale, which I actually planned to do, we got this information incoming and I just wanted to serve it to you while it's still fresh. And it also concerns my last video because in the last video, we were checking acrylic, um, Vallejo acrylic paint, the model air paint, the um, airbrush thinner anti-flow improver for chemical substances. Is there anything in there hidden which is toxic? And we did really find something. But now we have breaking news. It looks like the SDS, the safety data sheet that we used in the video, and that was actually the only one which I could find online, was from 2015. And they updated it. They did make some changes. And it's a major change. Yeah, it's a major change. So let's check it out. Let's go. So to give you a little context, we will check quickly for the comment and also to, um, yeah, to pay honor to the person. Because as I said so many times before, we do not only have the best, but also the smartest subscribers. So a few people all already told me, like I said before, that here, butoxy ethanol and butyl glucol are the same. It's the same substance. That's the same chemical. Here, we have the user is called Wurschtschoff, okay? Because he's German, so I guess it's, 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 it's called Wurschtschoff. So Wurschtschoff said, thanks for the video. I'm currently planning on buying an airbrush and I was thinking about chemicals in some of the used substances. As a former biochemist, so the guy is a biochemist, a former, I'm a little bit shocked how hard it is to find any SDS from Vallejo and also other manufacturers. That's what I said. I was just finding this after a few attempts um, um, googling something. I found this from the Vallejo site under their security section. I found those sheets. So these sheets they have actually right now on the official Vallejo uh, webpage are from 2015 and they are the old ones. Because here he said, I just found out that Vallejo might reformulate it their thinner and maybe the flow improver too but I cannot find any current sheets. The one you are showing is from 250. I will reach out to Vallejo and ask if they can provide an SDS sheet for the thinner, an actual one. And guess what? He did and they also did. They re responded quite quickly as he told me and he sent me the new sheets. So let's have a look at the new sheets. So these reach uh, restrictions, as I would say, they apply um, on the European Union, all over the European Union, and applies to all chemical substances. Okay, so here we have the new safety sheet for the airbrush thinner. And we, we see here, product safety information sheet according to REACH, Article 32. Okay, so what is important is uh, section 3, because there we had the name of the chemical. So now let's check se section 3. Section 3, composition information on ingredients. Here, chemical description. Aqueous mixed composed of additives. Huh, is that so? Because here, at this spot, on the old sheet, we have the name of the chemicals. I want to show you something here. Section 16, other information, composition information on ingredients from section 3. That's where we came from. Removed substances, butoxyethanol. Removed. Removed. Kicked it out. So actually, it's, 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 it's gone. It's gone. Because many people were saying like, yeah, um, you know, this is not a question of toxicity. Um, everything is toxic, just, you know, according to the dosage. I know it's time of exposition, which makes a big difference. Like if you have a talk, if you're, if you're um, exposed to a toxic fume 
while, while you're working eight hours a day, or if it's just like, I don't know, 10 minutes here, 30 minutes here, 20 minutes there, just a little bit, highly thinned down. I know, I know, I know. I'm, I'm aware of that. <clears throat> I just wanted to know if there is anything toxic in there, because they usually, usually it's a selling point of acrylic products that they are completely non-toxic, non-harmful and completely uh, clean and easy to use. But it's not actually really the case. That's the only thing. That's just to point this out. But now they removed the butoxyethanol. It's out of there. And yeah, that makes me happy and have to say, cheers, guys. It was our achievement. You know, you saw that? It's not even a week or let's say a week huh? from our video dropped saying that there is a toxic, toxic chemical in there. I, it's already, huh? I haven't even, uh, uh, <laughs> I haven't even drank. And I already got problems speaking. No, that's the excitement. Because we did a video not even a week ago talking about the toxic in ingredients. And now Vallejo removed it. But in such a short time, man. This is, you see, this is what you can achieve if you only believe in yourself. No, of course, this sheet we used was from 215. It was an old sheet. But yeah, you want to see? Let me see. And see here, I found this. Uh, safety here on the safe says safety and go here reach that's the and here data sheets to download right here are data sheets to download and it says here model air 2019 so worst chaff it's not 215 it's 219 so here is the model air and here we have the that's the old one that's the one we used in the in the video and i don't even remember actually now how i did find the one from uh, for the thinner and the um flow improver but anyway anyway they are hard to find the update is not there yet on the page they need to update the sheets because actually i mean why not why not? you you should actually thank me Vallejo. you can thank me for this man because i'm actually spreading the word i'm sharing the news that you have uh, updated the new formula because this time a lot of times when manufacturer says yeah new formula you think like yeah new formula well there's nothing there's not a real big change it's maybe just a selling point but you guys you say new formula and you really update your uh, sds you update your product you remove the toxic ingredient and just you know prove that it's also possible to um, um produce this product without any toxic ingredients even if it's not really harmful you know but it's still a toxic in ingredient and you might as well leave it out if it's possible to have the same product without it i mean <laughs> it's a no-brainer actually if you ask me that's a no-brainer and another no-brainer is for you vallejo to thank me because i'm spreading the good word so all there is left for me to say is another big big thank you to voschov you're the man for sending me this, for letting me know first, and then also sending me the the, the information. And uh, yeah, just provided everything which I needed to make this video. So actually, this video is on you, bro. So I hope you enjoy these news as much as I do. And if you want to see the Vallejo paints in action, check out this video here where I test Vallejo paints and compare it to other acrylic paints. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.